Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Jake, this is JB Tech. In two days, Apple have their next uh, big event. This is uh, the 24th of October event where they will hopefully be releasing new Macs and MacBook Pros. Just a reminder, these are all rumors which I'm about to share, so these are not 100% certain to happen. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Visit the Phone Workshop Cranny for great deals on phone repair, unlocking and accessories. Link in video description. At this event, Apple will be bringing some new Macs and MacBook Pros. This is almost certain. Hopefully, Apple will be bringing a new MacBook Pro as it is a much needed update. We will be seeing a whole new shell for the MacBook Pro for the 13 inch and 15 inch variants. Apple will also be reducing the bezel sizes much like on the Dell XPS 13. It is also rumored that Apple will be slimming down the whole shell of the new MacBook Pro. This is very likely as over the past couple of years, Apple have been slimming all their devices down. There is a new concept for the 2016 MacBook Pro as you can see on your screen now. The whole housing showed us what we needed to know about the MacBook Pro. There will be four USB Type-C ports on this MacBook. This is a massive improvement compared to the one USB Type-C port on the just MacBook which had one for some strange reason and people didn't like that very much. If you are not ready for USB Type-C, you're gonna have to get ready very, very quickly as it is the way a lot of brands are heading. There are also a lot more USB Type-C adapters than there were when the original MacBook came out. So you'll be able to adapt most of your USB devices. Also, as USB Type-C is the way they're going, they will get rid of MagSafe, so if you trip over your MacBook cable, your Mac's going with you. The new MacBooks will have upgraded internals. This includes new Skylake processors, new DDR4 RAM, and new AMD graphics cards. This will increase the whole performance of your Macs and MacBooks, and it will be an overall better experience than with the older models of the Macs and MacBooks. Something Apple have never done before has now been rumoured. There is a new rumoured light bar which is above the keyboard. This rumoured light bar will replace the function keys on the keyboard. What I find really good is that it will be customisable depending on which programs you are running on your system. With this, there is rumoured Touch ID built into the 2016 MacBook. We're not sure where they'll implement this feature, but we're pretty certain that it's coming to the MacBooks. There has also been new rumored MacBook Airs, but this is more likely that Apple are just gonna take the MacBook Airs out as it no longer fits their lineup. The MacBook and the MacBook Air are very similar products. It is more likely that they'll keep the newer MacBook as it is faster, slimmer, and it just performs better than the original MacBook Air. Of course, Apple will be updating the iMacs with DDR4 RAM and Skylake processors as they're doing this with the new MacBooks. The other two devices which are expected to have a refresh is the Mac Mini and the Mac Pro. This could be left to a later date, but we're not sure. We're not 100% certain that it could happen at this event or it could happen at a later event which Apple announced later on. If you look at the Mac rumor buying guide, nearly every Mac is in red. This means don't buy them because they will be updated soon or they're just not worth the buy anymore. It has also been rumoured that Apple will bring a new Thunderbolt display. It is rumoured that the uh, IMAX 5K display will be put into a standalone display just to plug any MacBook or anything like that into it. This hasn't been upgraded in years, so it is more than likely that it will probably happen. Maybe they will even add USB Type-C into this as the way to input into the monitor. This would be really cool as this is the way Apple are heading. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, dislike the video and tell me why down below in the comment section. My name is me, Jake. This has been Jake B Tech. I'll see you in my next video.